Today's guest is Adam Cotier. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning, but I did notice you've worn your shades in. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's a bit before my usual wake-up time. <laughs> Don't just give you up there. And I believe you're trying to hide a bit of a, a big night. No, I'm just very tired at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting everyone know. We won't go there. Yeah. Um, but you can check them out. Check out our Instagram, Dance FM at UAE. I'll try. And, and, um, and my lovely shirt. Yeah. Yes, I'm loving the snake print. I wore it especially for radio. I No, do you know what? Snake print is going off. Yeah. You are trending. <laughs> and the shades. It was all for the look. Brilliant. So now, um, Adam, you're relatively new to the UAE. You've moved over here last year from the UK. But ever since, you've been making waves. Now, this is particularly in the music scene. Yep. So you've launched one of the hottest clubs here in Dubai, Industrial Avenue. Can you tell us what is the concept behind it? So essentially, Industrial Avenue, uh, the concept was created. There's a huge gap in the market for a proper... Uh, how can I say underground nightclub accessible mm -hmm. not too strict on the door you kind of come as you are enjoy and uh, more focused on the dance floor which you don't really see in Dubai it's, it's more focused on tables which is all well and good but um, not if you want a wild night I yeah love exactly yeah. it's more, more, of a, more of the rave culture we bring over you know uh, underground very good sound system uh, all built around the music the dance floor I have enjoyed a few big nights there for sure and I do love the concept as you just mentioned not too strict on the door because yeah. you don't want to have to spend hours getting ready because of these strict door policies you just want to go out and have a good night which without overthinking even maybe last for minute sure. saying hey guys do you want to do this exactly super accessible uh, we encourage uh, females to come in sneakers you know it's very comfortable um, and basically just get your party on you know I speak for all the ladies thank you do you know I can barely last an hour in heels so with the sneakers on I will be there all night now, for this particular fact that you've introduced something very different to yeah. the region here, um, it's no wonder Industrial Avenue has become one of the most popular nightlife venues in the UAE, and now you've been nominated for Best New Club at the upcoming What's On Awards. So, were you expecting this? Um, from a personal point of view, I was hoping from it, mm -hmm. um, and all the hard work that we put into uh, delivering something, uh, the teams worked very, very hard on, on, on making sure that the initial plan and vision was delivered properly. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super happy and I suppose the team are as well that, that we've been nominated. It's awesome. And exactly, it's a uh, tribute to you guys for prepping but also ex executing, executing it. Executing, exactly, yeah. And that's the biggest jump, isn't it? For sure. You can have all the plans and you can think of and then it just falls flat. So yeah. well done, Team Industrial Avenue. Thank and you. so soon you guys will be celebrating your seventh month birthday. Seven month, um, yeah. And as creative director at Industrial Avenue, what's your vision for the year ahead? Uh, so essentially, I mean, we've got a super, super Thursday night, which is uh, hip hop. I mean, we couldn't we couldn't fit another person if we wanted to. Um, Steezy. Steezy, yeah. <laughs> so Steezy, we will improve, just sprinkle a few additions, maybe some local artists uh, and performances. Nothing, not major changes for that. Fridays, we'll start to uh, bring in some more international headliners. Um, we've got a really good set of residents. Uh, they were pulling in four or five hundred people on a regular on a Friday. Um, and we'll just spice things up by bringing some international artists. Awesome. As you say, why um, change something that is working so well? Exactly, yeah, yeah. So the recipe is good as is. And what about your own year ahead? What are you planning? Um, I'm starting to get a few more gigs in the region. Um, so I'm planning on a boat party yeah, next Friday, uh, warming up for Darren Emerson from Underworld. Cool. I was going to say as attendee. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah. As, yeah. Performing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I fly back to London this weekend. I've got a gig in London at Cuckoo Club. Uh, so back and forth from London, uh, playing a, a good gig at Ministry of Sound Room in April. Um, but essentially focusing on building my uh, my reputation in, in the region. So I'm fairly new still. Um, obviously I've got my residency on Dance FM every Sunday at 11 o'clock. A little plug there. <laughs> um, and yeah, just starting to build my name here, you know? Also, well, I guess you're excused then for gracing us with the sunglasses. You're here, there, you're everywhere, so we'll give you that. I'll be right back with Adam Cotier. Check us out on Instagram, DanceFM UAE. Continuing my chat with Adam Cotier, whose very successful DJ career has seen him tour the globe. We're talking residencies at Ministry of Sound and Heart Ibiza. This is on top of festival appearances and now landed here as head resident DJ of Industrial Avenue. So, Adam, how do you find the music scene in Dubai? Um, I've started to find more pockets of, of, of the underground, if that makes sense, uh, for a good friend of mine, Max. He's introduced me into uh, some micro house scenes, uh, 
micro house. Micro house, yeah, I think uh, that, that's his definition of so it. So you've got to be in the know to get an invite. I to believe these. so. So Ooh. it's kind of like minimal, deep tech ish. And very intimate space. I'm probably describing it wrong, uh, especially for him. Um, but yeah, there's, there's little pockets of the underground. There's not many venues that accommodate for underground music. Hence Industrial Avenue coming along. Mm. So you'll see in the in in the near future we'll pop up with some more house and techno events. There's definitely a want for it. And it's a perfect environment for, for an underground night, whether it be house, techno, tech house, deep house. For sure there's a want for it. I mean every time I've been to Industrial Avenue it's been packed. It's so yeah. popular. So so I think we'll we'll be launching a series of one offs on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um where Small, at? Uh, Industrial Avenue. Okay. Um, so we'll be using the side room for some of these, which is called the Shoreditch. Yes, I've been there. That's a secret so it's, little hideout. It's kind of a secret secret bar, which is not so secret anymore. <laughs> um, the initial idea was to create the ultimate kind of uh, backroom VIP speakeasy experience. Mm -hmm. But the, the, it's, it's too popular and, uh, and the demand for it is, is there. So we've kind of opened it out as a separate entity and also a pre-drink uh, area. Yeah, really cool. Um, I also love, you know, you walk up the steps of Industrial Avenue at the West End in the marina. Yeah. I wish you could turn one of those pretend loos into a secret door. Yeah, so... Oh, it is! Actually, it the is. one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but then they've got all the ones lined up so on the wall. All, you've got all the ones lined up on the wall. Has anyone ever she... mistaken them and used it? So, when I first put the concept forward to the team, um, there was some objection, obviously. The main objection was that someone might mistake it <laughs> yes. for, for, for an actual toilet. Um, so I promised if anyone did mistake it, that I would clean it. Okay. Um, so I put my neck on the line with that, and I think we've had one person. And you had to put on the rubber gloves and mop it up. Luckily, I didn't have to. You did the uh, security caught the person in the act. <laughs> um, you can imagine after a big night, they could easily confuse it on their yeah, way out. for sure. I think, oh, quickly, but before it, I line up for a taxi. It's a very good talking point, and the idea was yeah. that we create uh, an underground warehouse-style club in a five-star, almost family uh, resort. Mm. And to to merge the concepts together, you, I, I thought it would be good that you walked through an underground weird toilet. Um, no, it, creates a, it creates a talking point. Uh, it's also very photogenic, Instagrammable, as, as everyone yeah, says. Yeah, and leaves a lasting impression. You don't forget it. For sure, yeah. Um, so we'll also be launching uh, a party concept in there, which will be uh, invitation only. Um, it'll be a very intimate party, very weird gimmick, um, which we'll be releasing with Dance of Them quite soon. Cannot wait. Oh, you seem very tight-lipped about it, but you heard it yeah, here first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, you're a DJ producer of Deep and Tech House. Yeah. Uh, you fire up Dance FM every Sunday from 11pm with your weekly show. Mm -hmm. Where else can fans source your music? So if you want to listen to mixes past and present, then you go to my SoundCloud, which is uh, soundcloud.com forward slash Adam Cotier. Um, if you want to download and buy my music, um, you can go to Beatport and search Adam Cotier. Um, other than that, you can follow me on the socials, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Adam Cotier again, yeah. Oh, just turn up to Industrial Avenue, see you in the flesh. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, as you're leading the lineup, you're a head resident there. Yep. What artists are you booking this year to play alongside you? So you mentioned before you're going to try and incorporate some local acts. Anyone else you're eyeing Yeah, so off? I've got a really good uh, pool of um, local residents um, that we use. Um, and we've brung over, we've had Leffling and Cody, uh, we've had Roscoe from Fuse, which was a very good booking, first time in the region, very well received. The club concept kind of blew his mind because he's from the underground of, of the UK. Um, so it, it, the synergy was there. We've got Darren Emerson coming in Friday the 8th of March. Um, and then we've got two huge concepts that I can't speak about yet because I'm not signed off on, but they're absolutely huge. So. And okay, well then time frame. When are we looking at? What uh, month should we keep a close eye? End of March, eye? middle of April. <gasps> so soon. soon. Oh. Um, so the idea is to ramp it up before uh, the break of Ramadan. Yes. And then we come hot and heavy during the summer when essentially we become one of the a little bit one lethargic. of the leading indoor nightclubs. Okay. Um, <laughs> Just take it down a notch. The yeah. pace. Um, because obviously a lot of the outdoor. A lot of the outdoor clubs close the beach bars. You can't be outside at that time of year. So, uh, for all intents and purposes, we look forward to a very big summer for Dutch Avenue. Oh, it sounds like it. Thank you so much for joining me today, Adam. Thank you for having me. We'll be watching this space. You can see more beats and vloggers at dancefm.com. Dance FM.